Okay, everyone, places. This is the final scene, so let's make this one count. And... action. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. The Piecade. Made by a company called Pie Maroney, which I believe stands for Pirate Robot Monkey Ninja. Um, a few years old now, I think I've had this about five or six years. This is the Pie Cade. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3. Inside here, with arcade quality joysticks and buttons everywhere. A I believe that's an 8 inch LCD screen. Picade controller. And some additions that I've made. So let's get into the device. So, excuse me for being on camera, but I need to get to the back of this to show you what's going on. It comes flat packed, so you build it yourself, you put all the bits together, all the holes are pre-drilled, apart from this one at the front here, which, as you can see, is additional. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can or not. No. Divide it up. This at the front, USB 1 and 2, doesn't come as standard. I've drilled a hole, filled it with uh, two USB ports and connected those at the back of the Raspberry Pi for connection of those USB controllers because it makes it easy to play Nintendo games with those. Anyway, yeah, so it comes flat packed, I don't know, in a box, probably not much bigger than the, the length of that, really. Um, with all the hinges with it, all the plastic, all the printouts, no Raspberry Pi stickers, I've put those on myself as a bit of customization, and no power cable at the back, because this is what I've customized, and I will show you in a moment. So it's um, particle board in black. Uh, you can get a 10 inch screen version which obviously fits more around where that black bit is or the 8 inch one which this is and at the time they didn't have any 10 inch uh, screens of this version in stock. You can also buy just this bit with all the buttons on and then the HDMI goes out into your television and you don't need the screen or the carrying handle. So it has at the back a carrying handle here where you can obviously lift it up and then it has vent holes all around to keep the machine cool. So what I did, because I was being clever, out of the back here are the holes. Can you see that? Just, no, maybe if I tilt it forward. Here are the holes where the cables normally come out, and that's where the power cable is. And then at the back also, there's a finger hole that allows you to pop it open with a couple of grips, which is, there's a grip there, and then this allows you to open the back of the device. So, as you can see, this is what doesn't come with it, this cable here. That goes to the front of the device, and the rest of the stuff inside is what you get with it. You get a Picade board, which controls the joystick ports. You get the 
um, red cable that goes with it. You don't get the Raspberry Pi. That's one of mine. And this one is Raspberry Pi 3 Plus with a 128 gig memory card that boots RetroPie with, I believe at the moment it has Ray's 128 gig image on it, just for testing. Um, it works quite well, as I say, I've not used this for a long time. You can see in the back here, where are we? Yes, so power now goes down into the multi block as does the power for the device. So two power cables you need, one for the actual PiCade itself and one for the Raspberry Pi. You can't power the PiCade and the joystick interface on this version, you can't from the Pi's power supply. And then the HDMI goes into the HDMI here, which is the controller for the LCD screen. The silver plate is the LCD screen, and I've had to use Scylla tape, clear tape, to hold it in place because otherwise it just flops around on the inside and it makes a horrendous noise when you're carrying it. And then these two cables are to the front of the machine, which are the additional ones that I put in myself from eBay. Um, I think it was a USB interface that you can get for the dashboard of your car or your truck I think it is and it then gives you two in USB interfaces here that you can plug into anything like your multimedia system in your car or van. Now the last cable I've got is the audio that goes to the audio board which gives me the stereo speakers either side and then the LCD this cable here is for the LCD screen and it's just like a normal, like a laptop screen, monitor screen. It has your little menu buttons. You can see down the side there. And those menu buttons control the aspect of the monitor and of the brightness and things like that. So, all in all, Raspberry Pi 3 can be a 4, can be a 2, doesn't really matter. As I say, this is the original version from about 5 years ago. So it was only geared, I think, for the Raspberry Pi 3 at the time. Whereas now... It's obviously a Raspberry Pi 4, you could probably even put a Raspberry Pi 0 in there, but you would be restricted by the amount of USB you've got. Um, and that's it really, very simple, wood, speakers, a couple of interface cards from Pi Moroni, the Raspberry Pi and some cables. So what we'll do now is if I very carefully close that and undo this power cable spin the guy around and then we will plug him in and sort out. Now, one thing there is, is there's no power button on this. So you have to be very careful and you have to make sure that you turn it off with the menu on the actual device before you unplug the power. But we'll go through that in a minute. A few moments later. Okay, so as soon as you're plugging in, he turns on. So let me plug in. There we go. And as you can see, RetroPie is on the screen. Apologies for the reflection. Um, it's very bright in the office today. But what I will do is I will bring you closer and then maybe it's an angle so you can see me using the screen and the controllers. As you can see here, we have Atari 2600, Super Nintendo, 786 games available, SG-1000, 68 games available, Sega, 25 games, Sega 32X, 33 games, the RetroPie configuration screen itself, PlayStation, Raspberry Pi ports, so these are conversions of PC games I believe, PC Engine games, MS-DOS games, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Neo Geo Pocket Black and White, Nintendo NES, 
Neo Geo Arcade, Nintendo 64, MSX, Mega Drive, Master System, General Mame, so they're the old arcade machines, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, Original Game Boy, the Game Gear, and the Famicom Disk System, and then I'm not quite sure what that is. Famicom, maybe? Don't know. Dreamcast. So no games there. Atari Lynx. And Atari 7800. So as you can see, this memory card contains plenty of emulations, retro systems, consoles, computers, the works. Now I must stress, this card and the Raspberry Pi do not come with the Picade. You have to provide those yourself. So you can download the image from anywhere. I'm not putting a link in. Go and, go and Google it, find it yourself. But certainly you can run it on Noobs, Jesse, whatever the newest version of the Raspberry Pi is. This version is Jesse, I believe, from a Noobs install. Um, quite easy to do. You can configure your Wi Fi, download all the updates. Go to the RetroPie website, download that, do an install, or I'm sure you can find somewhere where it's actually installed completely in one go, like I did here with the 128 gig image. But that now is probably out of date because it's about three years since I did that. So, enough of that waffle. We've been through this. We'll show you the configuration now on the RetroPie. So you've got Select is the menu, A is select, and left and right is choose. Now I believe that is A. Select is down here, and I've put stickers on mine so you can see. Um, yeah, you can't see on the sides of there. But as you saw before, I put stickers on the front. Um, so on here you've got audio, where you can set through the headphones, which is what I've got. One of the buttons on the left hand side is the actual OK. So A button here, which is select, button on the left hand side, which is OK. So you can set your Bluetooth up, you can set, so that will be for your Bluetooth controllers instead of using the USB at the front down here. Configuration editor, themes, for emulation station, file manager, Raspberry config so you can change everything here like you would on a normal Raspberry Pi, restart in a track mode so a track mode is like the old arcade machines where they used to play demos of the games so you have a menu with a demo of each of the game that you select as opposed to this version which I have which has a list of games which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and a track mode is the new way of doing the emulators. Not sure I'm keen on it. Seems to slow things down on my Pi, but I probably need to get Raspberry Pi 4 to make it faster. Then you've got RetroArch configuration, RetroArch netplay, RetroPi setup, run the command line, show your connected IP, change the splash screen, and set your Wi Fi up. So your splash screen. Mine showed the Raspberry Pi, sorry, the Pi Cade with the blue, but you can choose whichever one you want. Download any, put whatever you want on. You could do it as the Amiga logo, the Atari logo, the arcade logo, the main logo, whichever you want. It's fully configurable. And also the number of. So where are we now? There, so that one's back. Select, back, menu, select. Gets a bit confusing unless you label them up, but I've not labelled these ones up yet because I ran out of stickers. So anyway, let's try one of these games um, and let's show you how it emulates the machines quite well. 
So I want to try a Super Nintendo. And let's try, let's have a see, page. Can we do page down? So you press select at the bottom down here, which is at the front of the machine. You can sort by A, B, C, D, E, F, things like that. And then it will bring you to these. So what I want, I want, I want, what do I want? And the two buttons at the end, the blue buttons, which you can't see, I don't think, no. So the two blue buttons, which I'll go across in a minute. Let's have a see, can I show you these? The two blue buttons there are page up and page down. Oh. There we go. So we can try Castlevania. Dracula X. And again, the red button there is selected. And then on the right hand side, you've got volume up and down. Just turn the sound down, just so I don't get no copyright strike. So I think it needs a faster Raspberry Pi 4 maybe, because every now and again it does seem to slow down. Ooh. Never played this game before in my life. How do I get up the stairs? Oh, there we go. Whoa, well that's no good. And then, to get back to the main menu, I don't know whether you can see those. You press both of those, both of those buttons at the side together and it gets you back to the games menu there we go and then back uh, back Ooh. which is back so there we go so One of these is back, I'm sure it is. There, back is B. So A, B, and then whatever else. We've got X and Y probably up and down here. And then those two I think are redundant. Um, so we can try a 2600. See what we've got. Asteroids. Let's try asteroids. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
there you go. Atari 2600 emulation. And we can try to see how good it is on PlayStation. Um, what should we try? Crash Bandicoot. So as you can see, it emulates the PlayStation 1 quite well. The resolution is quite blocky, but then it is running at high definition. Everything appears to work okay. As you can see, I'm rubbish at most arcade games, most console games. Yeah, again. So there you go. So it works based on the power of RetroPie and the Raspberry Pi. So as a whole, the casing is really nice, well built. Um, it's quite heavy, and for the money, which was I think I paid about. Ooh, 200 pounds for it over five years ago when they were brand new without the Raspberry Pi and That does seem quite excessive. I think they're a bit cheaper than that But I'll put a link in the description to where you can get these from I'm in no way affiliated with Pi Maroni. It's just that they can they sell them you can get these off eBay probably cheaper and as long as you've got retro Pi set up correctly on your Raspberry Pi then all these games will work um, I'm not putting a link onto where you can get the, the ROMs from. That's down to you to find them yourself. They're available everywhere. Bit of Google foo, and you should be okay with that. But there you go. That's the Pycade from Pi Maroni. Pirate, Robot, Monkey, Ninja. Dot com. Um, and it looks like a tabletop arcade game. The, these can be printed yourself. There's no template, but I'm sure you can find one online. You can put... I don't know, all the arcade characters on it. People have got Mario Kart, Sonic, the works. But I just wanted to show you this. Wondrous piece of equipment as part of my retro computer collection. Not retro itself, but the content is retro. Um, I may downgrade this eventually because it's taking up room and I don't really have enough room for it to be displayed and used. Which is a shame because it's a good piece of kit. Um, I just don't have the time. But anyway... Picade by Pi Maroni. You can put thousands of games on it, just like you can normal retro pie. I hope you found the video informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications when I put up more videos. Uh, leave me a comment. Do you have one of these? Do you have a different version? Do you have a two player um, joystick version that plugs into your TV? I've seen bar top ones that have got two players, uh, not Pi Maroni ones, but people have made themselves. Um, I've seen real arcade machines with Raspberry Pis in which are brilliant. Do you not like arcade games? Do you not like emulation? I, you know, can't please everybody but I like this as being a compact unit but it's quite heavy so it's not really luggable and transportable and, and portable only very short distances really and it is quite delicate and on the insides things do tend to fall off if you don't glue them in properly but anyway enough waffling thanks for watching the video goodbye 
Oh, oh, one note before you actually go. Let me show you how to turn it off properly. You can be on any menu, doesn't matter which one. And you press the bottom left, which is the start or add coin. You get the main menu with the web scraper, the sound settings. This is for emulation station. You go down to quit. You press the A and it says restart emulation station, restart system, shut down system or quit emulation. So the bottom one will take you back to the console. And then you can use my two front USBs that I've given me better access to for a keyboard to sudo shut down now or you can go to the shutdown system press A really shut down yes and there we go once the screen flashes it's off you can unplug it there we go then it's off Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh <laughs> okay, everybody, that's a wrap. <laughs>